Hey, what's going on YouTube? I am uh, making this video just to show you guys a little bit about the kits that I am advertising and talking about on my page. It's uh, basically this kit right here. It's replacing the H4 bulbs that you see right here in my hand, which is standard H4 that comes with the car with these things. Now, I think they're pretty great. They are just your average uh, LED high beam, low beam kit. Uh, simple plug and play to, I have my housing off my car, which is the H4 housing, uh, to your housing right here. This is the stock uh, electrical housing, and you just quickly plug it in. Part two. All right, so I've got a lot of questions uh, about the kit and uh, especially with your luxury cars, Mercedes, BMW, and the alike that have, once these are installed, replacing these, will the indicator light come on? So I'll just show you really quickly in my car what happens when I turn the lights on. They're on the daytime, right at the dash indicator. I'm gonna show you, all right, I'm gonna click the lights on. So they're on, and I'm gonna turn on the uh, high beams. And it's not giving me uh, any indicators. Fog lights are on. Turn those off. Turn them back on. What it says sometimes it does come on when I activate the high beams on these lights right here, but it's a quick and easy fix for that. And you can just install, which is called a load resistor, which connects to here and then goes directly to your stock uh, out um, wiring uh, to the housing. Okay. Now, that's pretty much what the basic load resistors look like that can attach to the LED kit, and it will solve any of the uh, blinking, fuzziness, or the indicator light out bulbs. Also, I get a lot of comments about is the uh, beam pattern like a moat or a government uh, standard uh, for safety and, you know, lighting everyone else around you, you know, make sure their eyes are perfectly safe. And I would say it's pretty much the same. There's not much of a difference with uh, these in the housing or versus this. So I'll show you the quick example up close of a wall of basically what the pattern will look like. No, it's not the moat. No, it's not with the um, projector housing over top of it and how that is on the road. It is not like with the magnifying glass over top of it. None of that applies to... Uh, your H4 bulbs that are pretty much for a car that's 20 years old. So take a look at the pattern real quick. All right, well, there you have it, folks. I hope I um, was able to answer any questions that you may have pertaining to especially the indicator light saying that a bulb is out. The best way to fix that, just recapping real quick, is to install the load resistor. It eliminates the indicator bulb saying the light is out and any kind of flickering issues. Um, I, on my car, can live with the bulb indicating light coming on sporadically for one or two seconds. It's not a big problem. I'm here in the country, so I just prefer having better light than what these sorry bulbs can produce for the car. Um, if this was helpful to you in any kind of way, make sure to hit the like button. If you want, you can hit right here to check out some of my other videos, or you can call right here to subscribe. 